I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at Stock and Option MarketMentor.com on uh, Thursday, January 31st. Um, first of all, uh, just a note. You may have noticed a little different uh, sound quality in my mic. I've moved into a new office and kind of brings me back to my old days uh, when I was in the uh, uh, music business uh, doing recordings in uh, recording studios back before they had all the cool reverb stuff. We literally used to go in the bathrooms uh, with the tiled uh, walls and all that kind of stuff and get the nice reverb and echo um, in there. So if you think that I'm doing this from my bathtub, I'm not. I just haven't had a chance to uh, dampen the acoustics in here, so to speak. So anyway, we'll get to that and, uh, and sorry about that. Okay, um, let's get to what really matters, and that's the stocks. Here, Groupon. Um, this, you know, 25 cents, so it's a $5.50 stock. 25 cents is a big move, uh, almost 5%. I'm looking at this, and I see a stock that's printed a big low. And, you know, I've been bearish on this company for a long, long, long time. Though I've actually been wrong because my sense was the company was worth zero. Um, as opposed to what it was trading for up here. Apparently it's not worth zero, it's worth 552. And I'm looking at a stock that if you just look at the at the 20 day moving average, that's the blue line, the middle Bollinger Band. The stock has been in congestion for a while, but most of the trading has been in the upper part of the Bollinger Bands between the 20 day moving average and the upper Bollinger Band. This is a characteristic, and I'm giving you pearls here, man. I'm trying to help you differentiate, you know, between the treasures and the trash. Um, this is what stocks do before they break out to the upside. Not always. I could be wrong here, but I kind of don't think I am. Um, Groupon's been trading up here. It's been in under accumulation. How do we know this? Well, because the stock's been trading above the 20-day moving average pretty much consistently. So what I'm suggesting is you go ahead and buy the stock. Just take the stock and uh, actually watch it kind of... Uh, run into earnings. Uh, Groupon does not announce earnings till I think it's like February 27th or something like that. Uh, let me pull this thing up. Yeah, um, February 27th. You can look at it right there. Um, February 27th is when Groupon announces earnings. So if this stock gets any kind of push to the upside, look, everybody back here who bought is a winner. You're going to see this stock start to move higher. 15 million shares. I would say that's highly liquid um, penny spread. So I want you to take a look at this. Just always trade with control just because I, I uh, pound the table. Let me see if I can speak English. Just because I pound the table on a stock does not mean that it's going to go higher. It means I think it's going to go higher. So pay attention to this thing. Don't just buy because I told you to buy. Own this trade. But if the stock does start working its way higher, here's the other thing. You can always add to your position. So you start small. As the trade becomes profitable, you add on, you kind of pack it on so your position gets bigger as the stock moves higher, which is just the opposite of what happens if the stock moves lower. You never add on. So you got kind of a built-in uh, profit there. So, okay, um, I will see you next time. Members get to the strategy session.